everyone. It's a beautiful day. I'm in the heart of Ballarat on Lake Wendery and I'm super excited because uh, I rolled up at the boat ramp here um, about 11 o'clock and I looked out and I could see fish rising and I was so excited. I put the boat in without the bungs, had to drive back, put the boat back on and now I'm back out. So I'm gonna head upwind here, set a drift and uh, yeah, try and catch some fish. It's gonna be fun. All right, well, I've made my way upwind here. Gonna start setting a drift and I'll pretty much zigzag my way down, try and come across some patches of fish. They have been very patchy. The stocking here has been so amazing lately. It's really, really good. And the beauty is there's browns and there's rainbows and you could catch anything from like 20 centimeters to 60 centimeters. I got an absolute whopper the other day, which was amazing. But it, you get kept busy because there's a lot of small fish too, which is super fun. So. Um, it'll be interesting, we're going to tick around, um, some days you catch a lot of small ones, some days there's not as many small ones up and you catch bigger ones, that's just the beauty of uh, I guess fishing and um, yeah, so I'm going to get my rig set up, I'll talk you through that and we'll make some drifts and catch some fish. Okay, so for a start I'm going to fish two crunches 10 foot apart on a floating line here on my 10 foot 7 weight. Um, as the day goes on I might come up onto dries, I'm not too sure. Um, but I might, yeah, I don't know. Nymphing's just such a nice way to fish. I really enjoy it. You can fish your flies fast, you can fish them slow, you can fish them static. It's very versatile and you can cover fish very quickly. So yeah, we'll start with this and then work forwards. Who knows what we'll end up fishing at the end of the day, but it'll be a bit of fun. most important thing when fishing nymphs, um, if you're fishing slowly in particular, contact is key. You've got to be tied to your fly the whole time. So you've got to manage the swing of the boat. You want to, I mean, you've got to present them how you want. If they want them slow, you've got to give it slow. If they want them fast, you've got to do that. But whatever you do, just make sure you're tight to your flies the whole time because you'll always get a chance. And if you're tight to them, uh, you're going to be able to, if you're tied to your flies, that is, you're going to be able to detect the take. And, uh, and hopefully land your fish. Oh, did you see that take? He just ate that as I sped up. Fish is eating the brown cruncher on the top dropper. Strong little headstrong fish. Come on, buddy. start and he just ate the brown cruncher on the top dropper there nice little fish very happy catching them all day because they're just so fun they're just chunky little bullets and the take is amazing so that was great we're gonna keep ticking um, good the crunch is working this is gonna be a bit of fun chased that back in and was looking at it, looking at it, looking at it and then just grabbed it on the hang. Thought he was in the net already. <laughs> nice little buffer but they're all fun. Couldn't believe how long he just sat staring at that fly for.
got him. Oh, no. Look at that boil. That was such a good fish. That hurts. That really hurts. So shattered by that last fish. Can't believe that. Did you see that? He rose. Flicked it at him, dragged it across the surface, and he just launched and ate the cruncher. <laughs> that was very cool. That was such a nice take. That was so fun. Look at that chunky rainbow. The cruncher, oh, with the cruncher in the top of the lip there. Nice fish. <sighs> Would have been nice to get the one that was like three times the size that I lost like a minute ago, but still good. Well, pulled up on this point because the other day I found quite a few fish here and the wind change has just really messed up the fish. They've just completely shut off for me. Oh, shut off for me, maybe not other people, but um, yeah, so I'm just kind of shuffling around trying to find some active fish that want to feed for me. So the point, some current, a bit of structure should help hopefully. Man, he looked at that for so long. Oh. Well, that was nice because it was quiet for quite a while. Nice little rainbow boy. Just shows you what moving does. Just keep shuffling until you find those active fish.
Just as I was moving the electric, another one's eating on the hang, which is very interesting. Come on, buddy. They're strong little fish. It just really goes to show how you've just got to move to find them. If it's not happening for you, you can, like, I haven't changed the technique. I slowed down, I tried some things, and now I'm. Oh, he's caught on some fishing line in the water, and he's just popped off. What? There's a big thing of braid in the water there. God. That was so bizarre. Jeez, look at this. This is Not only is that bad for the environment, that cost me that fish. Gosh. Well, that was random. Scenic spots in Ballarat. It's amazing. Such a nice bay. Green trees, fountains, there's trout. Holy moly, what? Look at this brown. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I watched him follow that flyer and just eat that on the hang. That is a big. goes back down to the depths. What a spectacular fish and a spectacular place on a, such a nice day. <laughs> well, 
what an amazing fish that was. I've just come round, reset the drift, because as soon as I came in here, caught a rainbow, lost the one on the fishing line, and then got that whopping brown. So yeah, there's obviously a few fish just in this little nook where that wind's blowing any food in. There's a couple of duns, not really, but I've just been shuffling to find them and eventually did, so we're gonna keep going. All right, I have time for one last trip before I head on. Big karma here. Hopefully that helps the audio, and hopefully I get some current coming around the boat shed there. And there's some fish there. That is a beautiful chunky rainbow. Look at that for a stunning, beautiful chunky rainbow trout. Come on, buddy. What a lovely fish. I don't know if that was first or second cast at the start of this trip. up there because it's four o'clock and I've got to get home for some stuff but what an awesome you know afternoon session there I think I got out on the water maybe at like 11 30 or so didn't really have mayfly today we had some spinners early but then it died off but you know you could still go out and catch a really cool mix of fish we pretty much caught everything from you know small rainbows all the way up to a really nice brown so just shows you how cool it is um, technique wise you could catch them fishing slow, fishing static, and getting the flies moving. I really enjoy exciting the fish at times, and they were happy to eat and chase a, uh, a roly poly nymph, um, and a blob there at times as well. I caught some on the blob when I changed that in when fishing was kind of slow for me. So yeah, super fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Make sure you get out on the water here. It's such a cool fishery. They're close to the bank, the fish, so you can catch them land base, you can catch them in the boat. Heaps of fun. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next video.